In this video, we're going to discuss some of the general information that you have in your components in VSP. If we click on one of the components in the model tree, we can see under the general tab, we've got name and color, tessellation, mass properties, etc. For now, let's focus on this first block. If you want to change the name that shows up in the model tree, you can highlight the text and change it to whatever you like. You can see that it updates here and in this active selection. If you double click here, you can also change the name using this active box. Both of those methods will work. If you choose to alter the wireframe color of your model, you can jump back and forth between these preset configurations, or you can choose to adjust the sliders and create one that's custom to an individual component. Now, this only changes the wireframe color. It doesn't change the shaded view that comes with all of your components. If we highlight our component again and choose a different material, you can see that we can change the shaded representation independent of what color the wireframe happens to be. And even we can set a transparent material that allows us to see inside the component. Another thing that we can do is set a custom material which will open up a modification of the material that you just had selected. So you can come in here and change some of these parameters and create a custom material for your model, hit apply, and it will save it inside the VSP model. That's a more advanced topic for later, but know that you can do that. For right now, let's go ahead and change that back to the default color. 